So I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. In a controversial commencement speech at Benedictine College over the weekend, three-time Super Bowl champion Harrison Butker railing against everything from President Biden to Pride Month to IVF and speaking directly to the women in the audience. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. Invoking his own family. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. That all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. Butker also criticizing gay rights when telling the students to take pride in their school. Not the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it. And had a message for the men. Be unapologetic in your masculinity, fighting against the cultural emasculation of men. The NFL responding, saying Butker gave a speech in his personal capacity and his views are not those of the league, while outrage builds online. Not only did he disrespect career women and every woman in that audience who just got her college degree, but he disrespected his wife and stay-at-home moms everywhere. Some pointing out the Georgia native's own mother is a physicist in the Department of Oncology at Emory. The Chiefs player also invoking a Taylor Swift lyric while criticizing priests. Because as my teammate's girlfriend says, familiarity breeds contempt. <laughs> Swifties wasting no time responding. I dare Harrison Budker to tell Taylor Swift she has no value unless she is a wife, mother, and homemaker. While at the school, the speech got a standing ovation, and some on the internet showed their support. Please don't pretend that the women Harrison described don't exist, because we're right here. Some students left hurt by the experience. There was a standing ovation from everyone in the room, except from me, my roommate, and about 10 to 15 other women. It was definitely horrible, and it definitely made graduation feel a little less special. Harrison Butker hasn't responded to the firestorm ignited by his speech, and Benedictine College has no comment, guys. What about the Kansas City Chiefs, Kaylee? Yeah, so far they are not responding to this controversy. But guys, the court of public opinion is in session and an online petition calling for Butker's dismissal from the team has nearly 90,000 signatures and counting. Look, in 2019, Butker signed a five-year contract. It's set to expire next year in 2025. So we'll be following this story to see if his actions off the field impact his career on it. Guys. All right, Kaylee, thank you. I would encourage folks to check out the Maria Shriver rebuttal that's yeah. posted online. By the well. way, I think that may be the, the best takedown, I think, if you're looking for that. And this is why you cannot be honest with women. This is why so many men out there, so many of these cowards out there, just take the easy path, the path of least resistance, and just lie to women. They just don't even tell them the truth. And they really sell themselves short by lying to these women and not being honest with them. And as you guys might have noticed in the media the past week, Harrison Buckner, kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs, went completely viral. He's getting all sorts of backlash from everybody, mostly the Matrix, right? But this guy went to a Catholic university, he got invited to a Catholic university to give a Catholic speech to an auditorium full of Catholic students. And the media got wind of it and they lost their minds. Okay? They lost their minds. Most of these people who lost their minds, I guarantee did not even watch the full the full speech he gave. I did. I actually watched it four times because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. There's not anything I, you know, I being left out here. Uh, so I watched it four times. I, I enjoyed his speech. I thought it was great. I thought he did a good uh, a good job and uh, just a really well-spoken young man and uh, an upstanding citizen, a uh, good husband, good father. Well, I don't know if they have kids. Do they have kids? <sighs> anyway, regardless, he gave the speech and everyone went nuts. <laughs> right? Why did they go nuts? They went nuts because he basically thanked his wife, who he met in seventh grade, like in middle school band like in band class or something like that, who became his wife 
so that tells you she's probably also a virgin right when they when they first uh, had sex that's good news too i mean he basically did everything right she did everything right and everyone just went postal because of it because he had the galls to thank his wife and then because he has a such a successful marriage encourage women in the audience to also follow that path which is a biblical path which is what god wants for people of faith especially people who, who uh are catholic right he's at a catholic university he wasn't at you know ucla or you know berkeley or anything like that no he got invited to this catholic university to give this uh speech which was you know kind of traditional in nature i mean because that's really what the bible is i mean it's just promoting traditionalism because that is the way to life right not death uh but you had all of these 304s of the world thoughts single moms divorced women damaged women coming out of the woodwork and just annihilating this guy's character as if you know he was running like a baby grinding factory or something like that i mean you know they just went after this guy like you would think like he did something awful that's why i had to listen to the speech i mean but i already knew i'm like they, they the mainstream media the matrix essentially these women who've all been indoctrinated and brainwashed with this message which he called out in his speech i mean he called it out and he just said hey you ladies um you've been lied to he's not lying they have been lied to right you've been lied to that you should you know pursue uh your degree and then go out there and get a job and buy forego having you know kids and marriage and put it off till later no 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 happiness is going to come from you raising children that's where fulfillment's going to come from that's all he was saying that's what he said essentially uh but you had all these old single still single bitter hags coming in out of the woodwork and and uh, attacking this dude right just totally storming his social media leaving all sorts of nasty vile of course disgusting messages or just lots of shame lots and lots of shaming guilting oh canceling you know um threats of canceling him calling the chiefs to get you know go get, get i don't want to see his face kicking anymore and blah, 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 blah. you know and and all of this because he he spoke the truth right uh, and a biblical truth at that and obviously his truth because that is the truth he's living He's having a happy marriage, a successful marriage. His wife is clearly happy. She's not getting beat. She's not getting taken advantage of. She gets to stay home, you know, and raise the family while he goes off to work. I mean, he's got a successful marriage. And instead of having some class and con congratulating the guy, what do they do? They go on the attack. Nope, we gotta tear this guy down. Gotta tear him down because he's telling us something we don't wanna hear. Yeah, uh, and this is what happens when you, you know, your your DG. Like, I mean, again, it was just these older, bitter ass women. Basically, all the women over thirty or still single, or you know, um, never never locked down a man, or who are now divorced, can't hang on to a man, sleeping with random men from the dating apps, are miserable, seeing therapists on antidepressants, you know. I mean, these are the women that went after him. It, it wasn't married women. It wasn't like happily married women or, you know, women who uh, had husbands. No, it was all these DGs who can't, who are not happy. Clearly not happy. Just read some of those messages. Go to his, go to his uh, IG, for example. I just started following him, um, Harrison Buckner. And the last photo he uploaded, uh, I mean, it's, it's just repulsive of like the comments, right? The comments. This is just a man this is a good guy who's who's doing the right thing that we should all be doing and instead of praising him instead of giving him shine they want to tear him down like he's some sort of martyr why because he told the truth and this goes back to what i was telling you this is why so many guys lie to women because women are they are used to being coddled and lied to from the time they're you know 
their they first get their boobies and they they get their looks until the time they're in the grave they're just constantly lied to by the matrix and the media they are so paranoid of offending women of saying something that even if it's true even if it's backed by facts you cannot say it i mean how soft and how much of a pussy do you have to be that you can't even handle a fact unreal okay what facts am i talking about i'm talking about the facts that say that women are unhappier than ever than they've ever been before ever since feminism in the 60s started to take hold women have grown more and more and more despondent right i mean so many of these women these days are needing psychological attention so many of these women are financially struggling so many of these women are dying broke and will die broke because they're trying to do everything themselves they're trying to become men they're trying to compete with men you were never meant to do that ladies okay let's get beyond religion for a second just from a an evolutionary standpoint you were never meant to compete with men to become a dude but you can't tell women this stuff you can't you'll get canceled right it really saddened me with the Harrison Buckner thing because I ended up covering that story um, like the following day it broke because I kept seeing it and I was like okay I'm sure the red pill will cover this no, I didn't see any videos. Maybe there was one, I think, that I that I happened to come across, but I had to search for it hard. I don't know. I mean, maybe YouTube's burying these results. Who knows, right? But uh, I couldn't find any. I was really disappointed because I was already disappointed with the amount. I mean, I expect this from the women to come out there. I didn't think they were going to come out in such large numbers as they did to try to crucify this dude just for saying what he said i mean it was really his entire speech by the way was over 20 minutes it was like a 20 minute speech and this clip about him saying it's okay to be a housewife is like probably about 25 seconds of that 20 minute clip and i mean it just it just is astounding how offended these women got these older bitter hags got from his words and this message doesn't even apply to them. It applied to the women he was talking to in that auditorium, which are Catholic women who are obviously at a Catholic university and and uh, are more interested in a Catholic lifestyle, which is more of a traditional lifestyle. I'm a Catholic, so I, I understand, right? And so, yeah, he was not like just preaching to, you know, in the middle of, Union Square in San Francisco or something like that. He was preaching to the right demographic. But still, Matrix caught wind of it and these women just lost their minds. They couldn't handle it. I mean, the message is not for them. It's too late for them. They've already passed their prime, right? They've already hit the wall. This message was for the younger ladies. They didn't like that because again, I, I keep telling you guys over and over, the the last thing that a bitter old hag well the last thing that a one you know, like yeah especially a bitter old hag wants to see is a happily married woman and especially more happily married women no <sighs> misery loves company right so they want they want society to produce more unhappy women like them so they have you know, plenty of other miserable women to cope with in the future. Yeah, but it just goes back to my point, guys, that uh, you can't be honest with women. Um, yeah, I mean, I expected this from the, the damaged women of the world and the single moms of the world to come after him, but I did not expect so many beta males out there, so many pussies, so many simps to get out there and be like, oh, he was wrong. He should apologize. You know, you're basically a chick, dude. You're basically a chick. You're basically promoting feminism. And many of these guys don't think they are, but you are. That's what you're promoting. You're you're promoting Marxism, right? You're promoting the destruction of the nuclear family because that's what's at the core of Marxism, no matter what it says on Google. And, oh, no, we just want fair re redistribution of wealth. No, I mean, that's evil in itself. But, no, eh, at the very core of it is to remove the family, the nuclear family from society, so chaos can reign. 
birthday so chaos can reign um but like i said you can't be you can't tell women the truth because if you do you'll be attacked look at what's happening to him. he just tried to you know spit out the truth and look what's happening hey okay, look what happens to me when i try to spit out the truth especially when it comes to facts i mean i got a lot of hate on this one video i did about single moms where all i did was stick to the facts i stick to the facts from the uh the fbi statistics about the crime and how it's correlated to single moms raising criminals and 83 percent of violent criminals in prisons are raised by single moms all i stuck with the facts i tried my best not to inject any of my own personal opinions uh I stuck to the facts i still got plenty of like women come in there just childish insults get, you know shaming and oh yeah mommy issues and all this you can't have a re rational discussion with you know most females especially modern women or feminists you can't you can't be honest with them because they can't handle the truth they're thin they're too thin skinned they're too weak they're cream puffs why again lifetime of being told you're perfect you know you're never wrong oh self-love and all this other nonsense where you, you get to a point where you're just not even living in reality you're just you're just detached from reality you know and um it's crazy because sometimes I just I, I just want to remove myself from all of this because it seems like at this point like 95% of society is deceived right I feel like 95% is deceived and it has been indoctrinated with a lie all right and when I see a guy a Catholic guy talking to catholic students promoting catholic values get attacked for stating a truth that is beyond religion it's just a fact of nature that women you know are happier when they're raising children and then get slaughtered for that you have to just think to yourself like okay evil has taken over okay i mean these people have been deceived by you know an evil ideology because that's not, you know, it's not good for society for women to be running out, running around out there like they are uh, with their corporate careers and uh, banging dudes, banging like just dozens and dozens of dudes randomly from the apps and then popping out kids without daddies and then turning around and then blaming society for that. That's not good for society. We don't want a bunch of criminals running around out there because criminals really come from the wombs of single moms. Hate to say it, it's true. Not all, not all, I gotta say it, not all, right? I get a lot, I have a lot of followers who follow me, uh, raised by a single mom, right? And then they turn to me, they turn to my channel. Why they turn to me? Because they never had a dad. They never had an authority figure in their life. They never had an enforcer. They had never had somebody who's gonna put their foot down and tell them the truth. Whether they like it or not, you're gonna hear the truth. But that's what men want. We crave the truth, right? Whether you're raised by a single mom or not, you crave the truth. Somewhere inside of you, you don't like not knowing the truth. Whereas women don't crave the truth. They run from the truth. They want to be lied to. They want to be misled, deceived. As long as they get to stay in this bubble of feeling good about themselves and removing any, um, any sort of accountability or agency from themselves. Oh, because that's ugly. What? No, I don't want It's not my fault. But, you know, this just goes back to why... You know, women are often, especially modern women, feminists, they're just, they're toddlers, right? They're just referred to as, you have to treat them with kitten gloves, right? You have to treat them like children because that's how they act. That's how they act. You don't want to be called a child or, you know, a toddler, then don't act like one. Right? Just because one guy, one man, he's just one dude. It's not like an army of these dudes. One guy spoke you know a a religious truth at a religious event right their little ceremony graduation ceremony for 30 seconds out of a 20 minute speech you're losing your mind over that really you have nothing else better to do your life sucks that much you're that insecure with your beliefs your values because i get attacked for my beliefs my values all the time I, I don't even spend an ounce of my energy to respond. I'm like, okay, well, I'm pretty secure in my beliefs, my values. I know who I am. Clearly, you don't, right? And I'm not thin-skinned like so many of these modern women are, right? I'm not thin-skinned. 
I can sit there and have a debate, right? I'm, I'm, I mean, hey, if any of these women wanted to debate me and say, hey, why do you feel this way? Why do you say women over 30 are DG? Hey, let's have a debate about that. I, I'm happy to prove it to you. I, I not only do I have statistics behind me, but uh, uh, lots of lots of personal experience. Not only my own, but coaching several guys, you know, thousands of guys out in the world. I, I can tell you just story after story. But I'm willing to have that debate because I believe in what I say. I, I don't want to cancel you. I don't want to shut you down. I want to have open, open debate. Right? Let's put on the gloves. Let's do this. But you won't. No, because women they need they need that control. Right. Instead of letting Harrison Buckner just like speak and go, OK, you know, let's let him make a fool of himself. No, they're threatened. They are threatened by his message. All of these old bitter hags are threatened by this one man's message because they know it's true, because they know the younger women. Right. The younger women are starting to wake up and, you know, Satan's basically using them as their is uh, to do his uh, his dirty work for him. Right. So yeah, it's it, it, yeah, it's sad that you can't even be honest with women. This is why so many guys just lie to women, um, and they just tell them whatever they want to hear. Right? They tell them whatever they want to hear because they don't want to get canceled. They don't want to get shamed. They don't want to get insulted. Right? But uh, I don't do that. Right? I, I have some principles here, man. Uh, I'm not going to you know get keep my mouth shut, especially over something that's true, uh, because you're trying to intimidate me you know, or you're trying to threaten to cancel me you know or whatever else right i if you can't handle the truth uh it's because you're a big old pussy right that's why you're not an adult you're just a pussy who can't handle the truth you can't handle the debate so oh, you gotta get a, you shut him down you know you're like the kid on the playground who's like losing and then you you know instead of sitting there and competing or trying to get better or work on your skills you just take your ball and go home now nobody can play see what you did you're that person you're that little shit right so yeah man yeah, it, it just goes back to why so many guys just lie to women. Uh, but again, I don't like I don't like lying to women. I just try to be straight up with them. If they don't like opinion, my opinions, well, you know, tough cookies because most of my opinions are are based on facts. I don't just pull them out pull them out of thin air, right? I just don't pull them out of thin air. I, there was a one woman that I was dating briefly that uh, we we're getting along fine, and then I don't know, like randomly, we're like, we're like walking along Union Square, and she goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, my job's going great. It w it would go better if they didn't uh if if men weren't being paid, you know, if there wasn't a wage gap and the men weren't being paid more at my job. I stopped and I was like, "You realize that's illegal, right?" Yeah. And I go, "Okay, why don't you sue your company?" What? Sue your company because they're pay you say they're paying the men more, right? That's how you feel. That's what you think. Can you back that up with facts? Well, no. I'm like, "Okay, why are you saying that?" Because, you know, there's a wage gap. There's a wage gap, Matt. Come on. There's a wage gap. I'm like, I'm not going to go along with your lie, right? I, you you might have been lied to and you're buying this BS. Uh, but I know the facts. And the facts are there is no, there is no wage gap when you account for like hours of work, negotiate, negotiating your salary, overtime, uh, you know, experience and all that. No, 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 no. No, you're you're not gonna sit there and pull that on me. So I told her I go, hey, you know, she was like, well, I don't care what you say. There's a I, the men are being paid more of my job. I said, then sue. I go, I'll be happy to drive, you know, find you an attorney to help you sue that company if that's what they're doing. But you can't prove it, can you? Well, no. And I'm like, okay, then just stop, stop with the victim with the victim crap. Like women are just perpetual victims, aren't they? It's like you can't just like take some accountability and go maybe i'm not that good maybe i don't have enough experience maybe he's better right have a little character no 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 it's, it's, it's i'm being cheated i'm being oppressed i'm a victim good lord give me a break this is why i say modern women today are such pussies right they're just so soft soft just soft you know just soft as friggin whipped cream man yeah, you just, you guys aren't even adults, man. I have zero respect for these chicks. All the ones who are attacking Harrison Buckner right now, I haven't heard a single retort to his, what he said, that doesn't involve shaming, um, insults, 
you know, character assassination, not one adult response. All of the response I've seen so far are very childish, very immature, uh, very controlling, by the way, like, oh, let's, let's, you know, let's make sure we all band together, make sure he, he gets kicked out of the NFL. Why do you want to take his livelihood away? This guy has kids, right? Apparently has kids. I, I don't know. I, I think he does, right? I, I'm getting him mixed up with somebody else as well, but, uh, but this guy has a wife, right? He has a family. Why are you trying to take away his livelihood? Just because he said something that you, that, that you don't like, right? Just because you failed, just because you failed at marriage, because you're a divorcee, because you're a single mom, because you're on the dating apps being a side chick for the top 10% of dudes out there that you know you're going after. Because overwhelmingly, almost all of these 30 plus year old women who've already hit the wall, who are attacking Harrison Buckner, these chicks are all on the same dating apps competing for the top, same top 10% of dudes that the women who are 10 years younger than them are competing for, right? She's sniffling. Um, so, yeah, I always tell you guys, man, this women just don't have each other's back. They, they just love to sabotage each other, right? They love to sabotage each other. They don't want to see those younger women happy or going, you know, competing for the top 10% of dudes that they're competing for. No, they just want to get rid of them. You know, get rid of the competition, silence the competition, cancel the competition, right? Because they're controlling they're abusive i mean really this is like real i mean you you get to see like how abusive women can be how just downright despicable and just classless they could be go read his comments but uh but uh, like i said 99.9 percent .9 of those comments are coming from over 30 still single divorced damaged women single moms friggin you know modern women who are like getting ran through by these dozens of dudes on these apps yeah just it's just really sad it's just really sad but in any case guys drop your comments below let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video anything you'd like to add anything you'd like to share drop them in the comments below and i'll see you in my comments until next time this is matt cross from alpha male secrets signing out here with my lamborghini just got this car very excited about it we're going to be featuring it a lot more here on the channel in the next coming months, the next coming years. I'm going to be keeping this for a little while. I still have my DeLorean, by the way. So not selling the DeLorean, but uh, going to be enjoying this car for a little while here. And if you want to see the process of me purchasing this car, just go to my Instagram, my IG, at Matt Cross Official. Follow me on there. Uh, been posting a lot of videos about this car been working i was working on this deal for over two months finally got it closed i was looking on for, i was on a hunt for this car looking for this car for over two years trying to find one in rasa festo red which is the color of this vehicle rasa festo red is probably hands down one of the rarest colors for the lamborghini it's also a fourteen thousand eight hundred and eighty dollar option so it's, uh, it's a pretty rare find. It's a fully loaded uh, vehicle. But I'm going to do a full review on the car uh, here on my channel pretty soon. If it's not up already. So, yeah, follow me at Matt Cross Official. The same guy who delivered my DeLorean also delivered the Lamborghini. His name is TJ at Florida Exotic Transport. If you happen to purchase a muscle car, collector car, exotic car he's your man for delivery funny enough i bought this car um, also sight unseen like i did my delorean just when you get these deals you just have to jump on it right you just have to jump on it man but as always gentlemen don't forget to smash that like button smash the subscribe button and smash that notification bell as well so you're notified whenever i release a brand new coaching video here on the youtube more importantly guys please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe to the channel and you just don't take off on me. So subscribe to the channel, helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who wanna support my work and all of this insane red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you here on my channel, best way to do that is becoming a, basically a subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel. Right now it's only a buck 
for the entire first month of premium alpha male secrets content from me so take advantage of it all you need to do is click the link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now just say two seconds so do that now and i'll see you in my next coaching video i'm out